Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today's topic is about seven reasons why saturated fats are actually good for your health and it's clinically proven. Now, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I have a family history of heart attacks and strokes, especially on my dad's side of the family. Now I'm sharing this with you because the other day I had my uncle and aunt over for dinner and they saw me take a big tablespoon of coconut oil and then proceeded to basically freak out and say, what are you doing, right? That's all saturated fats. Don't you know it's going to raise your cholesterol and give you a heart attack or stroke? Well, of course, they're completely wrong. However, this is how most people think, that saturated fats are horrible for you. And this false information and myth actually started in the 1950s by a guy named Ansel Keys. Now, he basically did a study of six countries in which higher saturated fat intake equated to higher rates of heart disease. Unfortunately, like most studies that are skewed, he purposely ignored and deleted data on the 16 other countries that didn't fit his theories. Basically, countries where high saturated fat intake showed very little heart disease. And also countries where very little fat intake that showed high rates of heart disease, right? The complete opposite. Basically, the real data showed nothing of any value. The data was just all over the place. However, once his paper was published and he was on the cover of Time magazine, the medical industry changed and saturated fats became the devil. Sadly, new, supposedly healthier fats emerged, such as sunflower, corn, soybean, and cottonseed oils. And let's not forget about margarine, the worst fat of all. Ironically, these fats have contributed more to heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes than most other foods, and certainly a lot more than saturated fats. And this is because these so-called healthy fats are high in inflammatory omega-6 fats. Plus, when heated, the fat molecule oxidizes, changes structure, actually becomes hydrogenated and toxic to your body. Now, these vegetable and seed fats are not designed to be heated, while saturated fats are. Yet, a major meta-analysis of 21 studies with almost 350,000 adults revealed no difference in the risk of heart disease and stroke between people with the lowest and highest intakes of saturated fats. And there are other major studies showing similar results. Simply stated, eating saturated fats does not cause heart disease. Actually, the truth is that eating saturated fats can actually help prevent heart disease. And this is because they reduce levels of what's called a lipoprotein A, which has a very strong correlation to heart disease. Now, what's interesting is that currently there are no drugs that lower this lipoprotein A, but saturated fats do. Again, nature already has the solutions and not the pharmaceutical companies. Additionally, eating saturated fats helps increase that good HDL cholesterol, so it's a double positive bonus. And there's other benefits too, such as weight loss. Saturated fats, especially coconut oil, can help you lose fat by increasing your metabolism and thyroid levels. Also, the brain is made largely of fat, and the majority of the fat in the brain is saturated. Saturated fats also encourage the liver cells to dump their fat content, and this is a primary step in stopping that unhealthy and ugly belly fat. Additionally, saturated fats have been shown to protect the liver from the toxicity of alcohol and prescription medication drugs. Now, saturated fats also make your bones stronger, especially in women, while vegetable oils do the opposite and can cause osteoporosis. Also, the immune system. Saturated fats, especially coconut oil, is amazing for your immune system. The myristic and lauric acid have antibacterial and antifungal qualities for your gut. In fact, these are also found in high amounts in human breast milk as a potent germ-killing ability for the baby. There's also healthier lungs. For proper function, the air spaces of the lungs have to be coated with a thin layer of what's called lung surfactant. Now, the fat content of lung surfactant is 100% saturated fatty acids. Now, replacement of these critical fats by other types of fat makes faulty surfactant and potentially causes breathing difficulties such as asthma and also inflammation. And there's also healthier skin. Saturated fats, especially coconut oil, reduces inflammation, it hydrates the skin, and increases collagen all of which are needed for healthier, more youthful skin. So in summary, please don't be afraid of saturated fats, assuming you eat the right kinds. 
Now, if you want to get them from animal products, the best are pasture-raised bison and whole eggs. And you can also get it from dairy, such as butter, but honestly, I'm not a fan of dairy. As I've said it before, I believe milk is for babies and cow milk is for baby cows. And one of the best saturated fats is coconut oil, which, by the way, contains no cholesterol, despite what most people think. However, if you are concerned about your cholesterol levels, or if you have high cholesterol you want to lower it, or you're currently taking a statin prescription drug to lower it, I suggest you get off the harmful drugs and improve your diet and exercise and take natural herbs and vitamins and minerals. Now, below this video, I have a link for more details on exactly how my parents lowered their cholesterol levels with no drugs or crazy diets, and the results were seen in only 30 days. So, there you have it. I hope this was helpful. Please uh, subscribe and make sure you help a friend and share this video with others so they can benefit as well. And make sure you click the link in the description area below this video to watch the next video about how my parents lowered their cholesterol formula. Now, that's it for today. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.